Hello. I am Max. I am back to tell you more about facial skeleton. Facial skeleton is a remarkably interesting part of our skeleton system. This part is made up of eight bones. I know it is difficult to remember the names of all. So, I bring you a quick facial bones mnemonic to help you remember them. My mouth's palate never liked, zucchini, in, vinegar. My, for maxilla. Mouths, for mandible. Palate, for palatine. Never, for nasal. Liked, for lacrimal. Zucchini, for zygomatic. In, for inferior nasal conchi. Vinegar, for vomer. You can find detailed lectures on all these bones at scadia.com. That is all my part. Myra, please continue with details. Today, we are going to study the smallest facial bone that is the vomer. If you look at vomer, it is a small triangular bone and looks like a plowshare. Well, this is the reason of calling it vomer. It is a Latin word meaning plowshare. Now, if you look at it from the interior side, it is a small needle-shaped bone, which looks like an elongated heart or an ice pick. Vomer is located here in the mid-sagittal line and it runs caudally in anterior and inferior direction. Because of its location, it articulates with other facial bones. More precisely, we have six bones that articulates with vomer. Two cranium bones, one is phenoid and the other one is ethmoid. Then we have four facial bones. Which of these two are maxilla? and the other two are palatine bones. So if we take a closer look on the articulation, on midline, it articulates inferiorly with the maxilla and palatine bones. Superiorly with sphenoid, where its wing, known as ella, and anterior superiorly with the ethmoid bone. On the posterior inferior side, it articulates with the septal cartilage of the nose to make nasal septum, along with the inferior nasal conchi. Hence, along with cartilage, it divides the nasal cavity into two parts. Nasal septum along with the nasal cartilage make whole nasal skeleton that we can see as external nose and internal septum. Nasal septum along with the nasal cartilage make whole nasal skeleton that we can see as external nose and internal septum. Now let me tell you some interesting facts about the boomer in different animals. Now there is a small vomeronasal organ also called Jacobson's organ present in some animals like cats. It is basically a chemoreceptor organ that is to play part in the perception of certain pheromones. It is named the marrow nasal, so due to its presence close to the womer and nasal bones. In bony fish, the womers are flattened, paired bones forming the anterior part of the roof of the mouth, just behind the premaxillary bones. In many species, the boomer even have teeth on them. In some labradons, the teeth on the boomer were actually larger than the primary set. Now in mammals, the boomers have become narrower still and are fused into a single vertically oriented bone. The development of hard palate beneath the boomer means that the bone is now located in a nasal chamber separated from the mouth. Well, this all tells us about the development of vomer bone. Now, if we look at the vomer, we can even see that it is a flat bone. It undergoes both endochondrial and membrane ossification. Endochondrial means that it is situated within the cartilage. Interestingly, vomer also helps in age determination. As the womer and ethmoid fuse together between the age of 20 to 30 years. Though womer is truly little bone, it has some promising anatomical features including ella or wings, 
perpendicular plate, two lateral surfaces on each side. It has four borders and a nasopalatine groove. Let us discuss these anatomical landmarks in the next section. So this was the introduction of Woomer bone. If you want detailed lectures and if you want to know the anatomical features of Woomer bone, just click here to scaria.com. Thank you.